Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I am here with another game in my uh, not going very well Royals season. As you can see, we are uh, almost last in the Central. Not quite, because the White Sox are a half game worse than us, but we're quite bad. We are 9 and 22. And as you can see, our offense is, um, we, uh, we're 29th in runs scored and 23rd in average. For home runs, we're tied for 17th. Defensively, uh, we are 29th in ERA, tied for 25th in strikeouts, and defensive efficiency, we're 29th. So I really have no idea how the White Sox are a half game worse than us, but... Apparently, that is the case. And today, we will be taking on the Twins, the Minnesota Twins, who lead our division in our 19 and 13. And so, we might as well just get into that game. So, uh, we got some, uh, we got some uh, gaps we have to fill in here, so let's go and do that. Uh, we will do the lineup. So let's see, what are we missing? We've got first, second, and third. We have not got a catcher. Um, Salvador Perez is getting tired. And of course, uh, and I've discussed this before, for some reason my general manager doesn't give me a second catcher on my active roster. So whenever uh, Salvador Perez is tired or needs a day off, like he does now, because his his you know his tired meter is almost spent, I have to take somebody else and make them the catcher. So we're going to do that with Nick Lofton. We are going to slide Nick Lofton into the lineup there, and we are going to make him the catcher. So Nick Lofton, who is probably Never caught in his life is going to be the catcher because I don't have a choice. Because, as I have told you, I am just the manager of the Royals. I am not the general manager. I'm not the over, the overseer of the game. I'm not the almighty Oz. I'm just the manager. So I only take what the uh, AI general manager gives me and I use it. So, um... Michael Massey could probably use a day off, too, but we're not going to do that. So I need a, uh, what do I got? I need a center fielder. So it looks like we need a center fielder. Um, we could do um, Loreano. So let's do Loreano. Let's slide him in there. And we will make him the center fielder. I don't know. I guess we had a center fielder. Melendez. Oh, wait a minute. All right. So right. We need a left fielder. All right. All right. So we have a lineup now. Um, not a good one, but it never was. So as you can see, and we're just looking at this lineup. You've got uh, Bobby Witt Jr. hitting 287 leading off. Michael Massey, who is actually fighting through an injury, it looks like here, um, at uh, 300 with a 351 on base percentage. But then you got Nick Lofton, who's going to be the catcher and hitting 071. I'm not even going to bother to lower him in the batting average or in the batting lineup because uh, you know we're we're bad and the worse we are the better a draft pick we'll get um, then Vinny Pasquatino at first base hitting 239 Fran Miel Reyes the DH hitting 231 Ed, Edward Olivares uh, right field hitting 191 Ramon Lariano in left field hitting 261 MJ Melendez at 242, and he's hitting in the eighth spot. And then in the ninth spot, we got Nicky Lopez, who's on, who is cold right now and hitting 202. Um, and our pitcher will be well. We're going up against Hunter Lockett, but uh, let's go back to options and preview. And um, no, our pitcher is is uh, is is Lockett, and so. 
For the Twins, they're going to lead off with Kirilov, and then uh, he'll be followed by Lewis. Then uh, Arise will be the DH batting third. Buxton is going to be in center field batting in the cleanup spot. Correa will be the shortstop. Carter will be in right field. Miranda at first base. Chapman, Matt Chapman at third base. And then Jeffers, their catcher, good hitting catcher. And then Paddock will be their starting pitcher. And so with that all out of the way, let's get this game going. Let's get ready to rumble here. So um, we're going to have, uh, we're going up against, uh, we're pitching the Karoloff and our man Walker Lockett is out there. We're getting a good look at our home park of uh, Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City. And uh, getting ready to deal is our main man. And Kirilov is going to hit that one right on the nose for a single. No, no, a double. He extends it. He extends it. I didn't think he was going to be able to, but he did. So now they've got a man at second with no outs. And up steps Royce Lewis. And Royce Lewis hits one deep. It's caught by the center fielder, and the runner is going to advance from second to third on that. So now they got a man at third with one down, and Lewis Arise, one of the greatest hitters on this team, and really in Major League Baseball, hits a shallow fly to center. Let's see if they send him. They do, and he's going to be out. That was a crazy bad idea, so it turns out to be a double play. Caught by the center fielder and thrown to the catcher for the out. So uh, here comes our lineup with our main man, Bobby Witt Jr., going up against Chris Paddock, who I remember as a Padre. But, of course, this is out-of-the-park baseball, and the out-of-the-park engine makes the trades that it wants to make. There's one down quickly, and Michael Massey, who is fighting through a nagging injury right now, and he is going to ground out to first, Paddock making the... Uh, the catch on the uh, end of that, and Nick Lofton playing catcher today, giving uh, our main man Selvi the day off, and he grounds out to third, so it's 0-0 zero, zero after one. The Twins looking a little more impressive than us, uh, but Walker Lockett, he's trying to lock him down, and he doesn't because there's a home run. That is going to be gone, and so the Twins are up one nothing quickly here in the second. And Carlos Correa is the next guy up. We'll see what he can manage to do. And that's going to be a ground out. So there's one down. The Twins are on the board. one nothing here. And Evan Carter is the batter for them. And that's going to be a fly to center, it looks like. So there's two down. Um, our man, Walker Lockett, he has trouble with one guy every inning, and uh, it almost came back to haunt us in the first inning, and it definitely did here in the second, although here's a second guy in the second inning getting on big time with an extra base hit. So we've had a homer and two doubles in this game that Lockett has given up as his three hits, but that's a ground out to third. And so we do get out of the inning with just the leadoff home run that the Twins hit to lead off the second. And we've got Vinny Pasquatino up against Paddock. And he's going to walk. So we've got Pat, we've got uh, Pasquatino aboard. Fran Miel Reyes is our man. And he is going to hit a ground out that's going to be a fielder's choice and advance the runner to second. So you got one down, and Oliveris is the batter. And he is going to ground out, and the runner can't... Oh, it's an error. Was that an error? That was an error on the first baseman, I think. So anyway, yeah, Ramon Laureano is up. And he is going to hit a... Fly ball, medium fly ball to center. Nobody can advance, and we've got two on with two down, and Melendez the batter. And Melendez walks, so we got the we got the bases loaded. A big hit here would be nice. Um, 
but Nicky Lopez is the batter, so I don't know how likely that's going to be. And the first baseman plays it himself for the out, and we are going to the top of the third inning. The Twins holding that good one nothing lead, and now it's 2 nothing as another home run. Lockett giving up two, um, two leadoff home runs in this game. One to lead off the second, and one here to lead off the third. But still, you know, as bad as he's pitching, well, I don't know if we, the, we did not get him there. As bad as he's pitching, he is only down 2 nothing. And this might be a double play, and it is. So we may, we turn the DP, the smooth DP, and uh, lock it. Going to deal to arise here, and that's going to be a ground out to third. Yes, no, yes. Okay, good. No error there. So it's only two nothing. I mean, Lockett is really getting his uh, getting his ass beat in, but. He's still only down 2 nothing, and here's Bobby Witt Jr. to lead it off. And Bobby Witt Jr. gave it a ride, but it's going to be a fly out to center. And uh, Michael Massey is up. Michael Massey, perhaps our best hitter, and he shows it right there, getting a uh, single to left field. And uh, here is Nick Lofton. Our stand-in catcher, and he's going to hit a single right up the middle. The 071 hitter getting a base hit. I'm sure the Twins weren't expecting that. And now Pasquatino, who has a little bit of power, and there's a pass ball. So we've got now runners at second and third with only one out. If Pasquatino can hit this ball anywhere, and he can, that might score the it should score the run, and it does. So it's 2-1 to one now. We're only losing by a run with Fran Meal up. And he is going to pop out. Pop out to first base. So we're still losing, but we're in this game. It's 2-1, to one, top of the fourth inning. Lockett still out there and still going strong because although he's given up runs, he hasn't given up a ton of hits. And there's a uh, misplay by the third baseman. It seems like the first guy always gets on against Lockett. I don't know what the problem is. Maybe we need to have him go down in the tunnel and pitch to people in the uh, in the locker room or something. But, oh, they're going to advance two bases on that. So there is one out, but runners are at the corners. And uh, night has fallen here in Kansas City, and that is going to be a, another single that advances the man on the bases, two bases. So uh, runners at the corners again, one out. Now they're up 3-1, to one, and uh, that is a crappy throw by a guy who doesn't usually play catcher, so that's to be expected. And you can bet that the Twins knew that. There's two outs, but... A run comes in, and the Twins are up 4-1. to one. And there's a strikeout by our man, Lockett. So we need three runs. We're down three here in the bottom of the fourth with Edward Olivares leading off. And he is going to hit a dribbler. Is that going to be enough? Did he make it? No, he did not make it. And so Loreano is up. One down and now two down. Two down quickly. And MJ Melendez, the batter. And he is going to walk. Which brings up Nicky. Nicky Lopez hitting 198 on the year. And he hits one right down the line. And that is going to advance the runner two bases. And we've got runners at the corners ourselves. Of course, we need a key hit right here. Badly from Bobby Witt Jr. And he is going to get that base hit. No, he's not. He is not going to get it. He flies out to left. I thought maybe that could be out of here or off the wall. But no, no such luck. As we go to the top of the fifth, down 4-1. to one. And there is going to be a ground ball. But he's not going to make it because he's got a lollipop throw over to first. 
And that brings Royce Lewis to the plate. And Royce Lewis, now maybe a double play there. And yes, good. We turned our second double play of the game at a key time, especially for Lockett. And then, uh, is it, was this a rise again? We're handling a rise pretty well, if that was. So, we're down 4-1. And here is Michael Massey, again, one of our better hitters. And he hits one right down the line. So whatever nagging injuries he's playing through, it's not hampering his play any. It does not seem. Um, here is Nick Lofton. I would normally bunt, but I want to see what Lofton can do. And he hits an he gets another base hit. 071 batting average coming into this game, and he has two hits on the day, which brings Pasquatino up. Now you got to figure we have to have a run here, and he gets hit by the pitch that loads the bases, and there's no outs. Bases loaded, no outs for Fran Meal Reyes. And Fran Meal is going to hit a long high fly ball that won't advance anybody not good for anyone there Oliveris the batter and he is going to hit a get a base hit maybe that'll score two and it does so it's 4-3 we're right back in this thing with Loriano up and runners at first and second it would be great if he could do something and he just watches a pass ball which is great and uh, so now he's up Colin McHugh is now on for the twins and that is a strikeout <coughs> bringing up MJ Melendez and Melendez got into one but not well enough so we scored some runs, but not enough. Oh, we got a position missing. What is missing now? Oh, the the pitcher. Somehow the pitcher got injured. All right, well, uh, we're going to bring in... Uh, I'm going to say bring in Colby White. Yeah. I don't know how the pitcher got injured, though. He wasn't even playing. But anyhow, mine is not to ask. So Colby White comes in on the year. He is 0-1 with a 312 earned run average. And maybe he can... Um, maybe he can hold the line here. There's a strikeout. Maybe he's got some gas going for him. I mean, uh, he has struck out 12 guys in nine innings. And that's going to be a roller to second that's going to end in an out. And there is two down. And up steps Evan Carter. And Evan Carter hits one on the screws, but it's right at the right fielder for the out. And we go to the bottom of the sixth with Lopez going up against McHugh. And Lopez doing a little kind of a drag hit, but it's not good enough to get him on base. Bobby Witt Jr. up. Bobby Witt Jr. has given the ball a ride. He's hit it pretty, you know, well, but not as far as getting uh, hits out of it. And now Massey is up with two down. And that is going to be a strikeout. So we got our man Colby White out there again for the seventh inning. See if he can give us this inning. I'm hoping he can. There's a there is a bullet drive at the third baseman, but he plays it for an, the out. And up steps Matt Chapman, and he strikes out. So Matt Chapman, not as good as he was when he was younger, and uh, up steps Jeffers. Jeffers again, good hitting catcher, and uh, he gets a fly ball, and so we got a chance here. We got. Two good innings out of Colby White. I'm going to go warm somebody up, though, because we got to get ready for that. Um, I think I'm going to get Dylan Coleman up. So we're going to warm up Dylan Coleman. We've got him going, and Nick Lofton, who has two hits today. And, whoa, Nick Lofton, man, he is giving the ball a ride. But he's out there. 
Um, and Pasquatino is the batter. Pasquatino could not get it into the gap. So there's two down. And Fran Meal Reyes up. And that is going to be, it looks like a fly out. And so we go to the eighth inning, top of the eighth. And we're losing by a run. Um, I'm going to see if Colby White can get, like, maybe one guy here. Oh, no. All right, let's just go get the reliever. Let's bring in Coleman. Coleman's in the game. And uh, is that a double play? No, but we get the lead runner, so that's cool. One down, and um, Lewis a rise up, and they walk a rise. So there's two on with only one down. And, uh, yeah, lollipop throwing catcher that doesn't usually play catcher. And that's going to be a strikeout. So that was a key strikeout right there. There's two down with runners at the corners, and Carlos Correa up. And he hits a liner to center field for the out. So Coleman got us out of that inning. We're in the bottom of the eighth here. Um, Olivares up. I mean, this is not a bad performance considering we're playing the best team in our division. And there's a leadoff walk as uh, a new pitcher, Brock Burke, is on. And uh, he walked the leadoff batter, and now he's got to deal with Lariano. And that's a slow roller, but they get the lead runner. So the fielder's choice eliminates the lead runner, and MJ Melendez is up. Melendez is out, so there's two down quickly. And that leaves us with Nicky Lopez. And Nicky Lopez laces one to left field for a base hit. We've got two on, but two out. And Bobby Witt Jr., very good hitter for us. Young, good young hitter, he strikes out. So, uh, I'm going to try to get Coleman through the ninth. I mean, it would really benefit us if he could get through the ninth. But, probably can't, because there's a hit in the gap right there. And he was starting to get tired already. So, this is going to be, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be dicey. Because I didn't have anybody warming up anyway. And then, of course, Lollipop Man can't get the runner at third. And there's a strikeout. So there's one down. Um, but he is on, he's on fumes now. Let's hope he can just get out of the inning. I mean, a run came in, but it is 5-3. And Ryan Jeffers up. And that might be the out. Okay, so, I mean, he gave up a run, but he was on fumes. Can't really fault him for that. But we got to have two runs here, and they bring on Johan Duran to pitch. I'm assuming he's their closer. And that is going to be a nice long uh, ride for the ball, but it's an out in right field. Nick Lofton up, loving Nick Lofton. And he strikes out. And that brings up Pasquatino. Pasquatino is going to fly out to center. So we gave it, I mean, it was a good game, but uh, we just couldn't put it away. So we lose 5 3 and we drop to 9 and 23. Take a look at the box scores there for the the, uh, the batters. Of course, you can see Lofton, 2 for 5, raised his average from 071 to 158. Oliveris, he's having his problems this year, hitting 196 for us. Lockett pitches five innings, allows eight hits, walks nobody, and only two earned runs. So he actually pitched quite well. So did uh, Colby White. And Dylan Coleman went two and allowed a run. So that's where we uh, find ourselves. We're going to finish the day, and then we'll see where we are. We are still ahead of the White Sox. 
And so that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.